Out, uh, with a win, uh, I thought our guys competed hard for four quarters. It was, uh, you know, touch and go in the second half, but uh, we found a way to, to toughen it up when we needed to and get a great stop. A tremendous job by our, our, our defense and our coaches to have a good plan there on the goal line, and then you know, on the minus half yard to you know, run a naked on, on first and one and take a little chance and put it on our quarterback to get outside. He did a good job running it first down, and then we ran and got some first downs when he needed to. So to me, that's a sign of a. You know, pretty decent football team. So we got to build off that. Of course, uh, we love to play better in the second half. I think, um, you know, we talked about a lot. The onside kick was coming uh, at the start of the second half. So it was talked about a lot. Obviously, the plan wasn't good enough. So uh, we got to do a better job of that, uh, you know, because we did, you know, recognize that that was probably coming. So uh, that was uh, disappointing. Uh, but you know what? Uh, they played hard to the end. So I'm proud of them. As we tell our team uh, every week, you know, every every game's going to be like Georgia Tech. And now every game's going to be like Georgia Tech in Indiana. You know, from here on, that's that's how it's got to be. You got to be able to be tough enough to hang in there and make more plays than they do, and figure out a way to score more points than they do. And uh, it's good to get out with the win. Questions for Jeff? Jeff, Jack touched on it a, a little bit. You just did with the Georgia Tech game goes one way in the first half. This one goes another way in the second half. How beneficial is it for your team to overcome adversity this early? Well, it's great. Uh, I like the makeup of our guys. They really play hard. They work hard. Uh, they're coachable. Um, I think our coaches are tough enough to realize that we make a lot of mistakes too, and we got to fix those every week and put our players in the best position to succeed. And we'll have to continue to make corrections uh, from, from this week. Uh, but uh, that's the, a great starting point. And uh, if we can figure out a way to just be a little more efficient uh, for 60 minutes and not have lapses, uh, then maybe we can have a big win. But uh, until then, it'll be Back and forth and fair, and we uh, fair, and we got to be the you know the tougher team in order to come out with a win. Jeff on the fourth down play, a goal. They had 18 inches to get. I think that's what the ref said. Uh, were you expecting them to give it to the halfback, or did you were you thinking that they were going to quarterback sneak it? Well, when it was at the two, we we had an idea that uh, it's probably going to be a pass or play action or, or get out on the edge. Uh, when it got to half yard, we thought either quarterback sneak first. And then when the big back came in, then that was the second choice. So um, we worked on our goal line package. We had a lot of big bodies in there. Uh, we stemmed at the last minute to try to get him to snap it early. I don't know if it affected him a little bit or not, uh, but we got in there. So because of the stem and movement, we got in there quick, um, penetrated, and stopped the you know uh, the run. And we really did a great job with it. So that's not easy to do. Uh, so that's just all out effort and uh, some good coaching by our defensive coaches and. We had to have it to win. What kind of, or what kind of confidence or maturity does that give TJ to make that kind of a play? You know, with being a younger player, just you know, being able to, to stand up at the big moment like that. Well, TJ is a great leader. Uh, I was lucky enough to play with his dad, and, and hard nosed, and tackled, and played to the end, and never complained one bit. His son is just like him, uh, very productive. Uh, he's a great leader by example. Uh, he'll tackle and hit you. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 remarkable how similar. He is to his father, uh, but uh, he's just really uh, embraced his role. Um, he's a great teammate. Um, he wants to win, uh, and he carries a lot of self-confidence. And you know, if you're going to run it at him, he's going to tackle you. He's going to hit you. So, uh, a great, great team effort uh, there by the defense of the unit. Coach, it seemed like Indiana was able to get a lot of pressure in the second half, which kind of disrupted things. Uh, was there something different that they were doing defensively in the second half of the game? Well, Indiana does a lot of things on defense, and uh, we caught them uh, in the first half on some play actions with that and hit them on some big shots. Second half, uh, you know, they, they, they got through there a little bit. And uh, whether we were a little more conservative or whether, you know, at times we moved the ball through an interception when we probably could have ran for the first down, which we should have done, uh, and then just had, uh, I, I can't even remember, just didn't seem like we had the ball as much in, in the second half. So, uh, you know, a lot of things to work on, improve on. Indiana's a good football team. Um, you know, every game I had against them at Purdue basically went down to the wire, even if, if we won by you know, more than uh, single digits. It's normally at the end just finding a way to win. But that's a balanced team. they got a good quarterback, a really good running back, a solid defense, and they'll win some football games. Jeff, what are your thoughts on kind of these regional kind of games in college football and how you reportedly going to back out of the rest of this series? It seems like this is what makes college football special, though. Playing games that are you know, regional, good for fan bases, people can attend, that kind of thing. 
Well, everybody's got to do what's best for them. I know from, from my standpoint, it's always been, uh, we love playing in-state rivalries. We love playing regional games. Um, it's not only great for the players, but it's more importantly great for the fans. Uh, they can get to the games. Uh, they know a lot of people on the other side. Uh, it means a lot to them. There's some bragging rights. and uh, So from my opinion, I, I would love to play as many as we could uh, with anybody regionally uh, because it's uh, makes for great competition. Uh, you don't have to travel far and all your fans can get there. So. Uh, you know, we'll try to proceed forward and, and get some more on the schedule uh, that uh, you know all of our fans can come watch. Jeff, how are you feeling? Or I guess, what's your mindset like in the game? Are you? Because obviously on the side, I'm seeing calm, but are you racing? Are you just going nuts? Just I guess, what's your feeling like in the game? Well, I was disappointed in the onside because, man, we talked about it so much. So I probably was out of control then. Uh, but, uh, you know, defensively, uh, I thought we played hard. Uh, you know, eventually you're going to make some plays. Number 12 is just a dynamic player. The quarterback is a solid football player. Uh, they had a double move on us at the end to get down uh, in, in, in range, which we play tight coverage. So eventually, eventually they're going to hit one of those. Uh, it's just we, we were stale on offense uh, in the second half. And, and uh, you know, that hurt us. So I just think uh, we buckled down at the end. Like I said, go on stop and running the ball to win, get some first downs when, when you have to, to, to run the clock out uh, is a good finish. Jeff, you struggled in the second half to get pressure. Well, we've, um, you know, we have some packages together to get pressure. Yes, there have been times where maybe we'd like to get more. Um, you know, I think we, we call some some single dogs of, of blitzes by linebackers and uh, didn't land a whole lot. Uh, they were able to get the ball out quick. Um, probably not a whole lot of all out blitzing, which, you know, we have a, a plan for that every game. You've got to be a little cautious and careful. And sometimes when you, when you get a big lead, you probably pull back on that naturally more than you like to, even though we're trying to still play aggressive. So I just think that we've got to continue to work on it. We want to try to get more pressure and sags. Really the goal is just to keep them out of the end zone. Um, so I just think uh, we got to look at the whole thing. Jeff, Jack had a couple key conversions with his legs and this one he even said up there, you know, he's not the bar of the league kind of camp, but is he a better runner than maybe people give him credit for? Well, when we recruited Jack way back at Purdue, the thing that stood out is he was athletic. He could run around and scramble and make some plays, and he's a pretty good passer as well. Uh, he was under-recruited, and uh, we got him to come to us. And he's got to know that, uh, you know, and we talk about every game, you know, two to five times when we call a pass play, you're going to have to run the ball. It's not open. They have good coverage. Somebody falls down. You get pressure. So that's got to be in your mind. And uh, I thought overall did a really, really good job. But one time we threw the interception. He's trying to make a big play. He could have ran for the first down. So from there, it was, hey, let's, let's be smart. You, know, you don't have to you know, force the touchdown passes. So just be efficient. Uh, when we got that last drive, we could have ran the ball there. But on the first down, we ran it naked with him, uh, a bootleg to get him on the edge. And he did a great job. They had it covered, uh, but they didn't cover him. And then uh, he made another good run as well. And then you know, we ran the ball with our running back as well and got some yards. So that was a good uh, job by our offense line and uh, offense to, to move it at the end. But Jack, uh, you know, he's going to continue to get better. I think, uh, you know, he had a really good first half. He was efficient. He's throwing the ball. He's putting all the money. And then we just got to continue to, you know, find ways to score points. One more three games in. How encouraged are you by this start? Well, like everything, you want to win uh, every time you step on the field. And um, while we talk about long-term goals of once, uh, we really don't talk about anything other than it's a one-game season. And uh, I think we put a lot into this game. We knew it was an important game to win this. So the start was great to see that we were jacked and ready to go. Uh, and then the finish was good to see the very end that we, we buckled down when we had to. So, you know, when conference uh, games start now again, we got to be ready to play. And um, there's a lot of parity in, in, in every league. Um, well, there might be a few elite teams around the country, but everyone else is almost the same. It's just a matter of who's going to be more efficient, who's going to continue to get better, who's going to keep guys healthy, stay together, and, and, and play hard for four quarters. So that's what we got to do. And uh, luckily, we get to go back home and do it next week. I do uh, want to say I think the fan support this venue was great today. They were loud. Uh, they were in full force. We could hear them. And they made a difference. So we appreciate all of them coming up.